festival kicks off Friday with a big premiere. Waterman, a movie about the legendary Duke Hanamoku, will kick things off. The documentary follows his journey and legacy as the father of modern day surfing, Olympian, and trailblazer. Here's a preview of Waterman. At 14, Duke Hanamoku embraced his responsibility to master the ultimate Hawaiian tradition, becoming a waterman. A waterman is someone who can do everything in the water. As a kid in Hawaii, you wanted to be a waterman, and the Duke was the big kahuna. To us, he's the king of surfing. No American athlete has influenced two sports as profoundly as Duke Hanamoku. He was on the world stage, even though the world wasn't ready for it. All of a sudden, it's like he's a superstar. Jim Thorpe, Jesse Owens, Jack Johnson, and lost in that shuffle is Duke's role as a racial pioneer. He did encounter overt racism. He was able to break a lot of color lines. The amount of pride that he was able to give to his people. He was one of the biggest celebrities in the world. Aloha. He had come from nowhere to the Olympic team in three months, which is an unrivaled story in Olympic history. He changed the world with a Kahanamoku kick, the same kick that Michael Phelps learned. A superhuman feat. He's bringing a sport that nobody has seen before to their shores. I think that Duke shared surfing with the world because it was the greatest gift that he had received in his life. And he wanted other people to experience it. He rescued so many people. Life saving wasn't a profession back then. There are true heroes in the world, and he was one of them. Duke accomplished the seemingly impossible. The story of one of America's greatest icons. When the world saw Duke, they saw Hawaii. I got chills, Ooh, right, Bridge? Did you? Yes. That looks amazing. Yeah. Now, the world premiere of Waterman takes place on Friday with a sold out showing at the Bishop Museum. There are encore screenings, though, on the neighbor islands. If you are interested, tickets for those are still available. Many people come not from Hawaii, they see the Duke statue in Waikiki and whatnot. And, you know, just, you know, so like this, I mean, even me growing up in Hawaii, I know of Duke, the Duke of Hanamoku, but, you know, this, this film really kind of like really showed how much of a, how much of a uh, game changer he was, how much of an icon, how much of an innovator, a pioneer, how much of a human specimen he was, an athlete, but also just really imbuing the Aloha spirit. Lay says Waterman will be released next year, so this really is an advanced screening. The Hawaii International Film Festival runs from November 4th through the 14th on Oahu and November 18th through the 21st on the neighbor islands. For more information on the other films to check out, go to hif.org.